Hey, and welcome back to Buddy Libreflip. This is episode 26, assembling and mounting the counterweight. Uh, okay. In episode 25, I made uh, this counterweight, and I also have these two linear rods from polished steel. And all of this will go here in the back. And precisely the counterweight will be mounted in here and go up and down in this area. And so there will be two linear rods and I want to mount them. I thought I need to remake this entire part and I thought I had the materials for it. Unfortunately, apparently I don't have the materials for that. So we need to improvise. The new replacement part, the version two of this part is a bit wider here because one of those two rods sits here and the other one sits about there. This means I'll just glue a piece of wood on here and use this to hold the rod that goes here. This is roughly how the counterweight will be positioned. And you can see that the rod sticks a bit over the edge here and can't really be secured. Actually, the counterweight sits a bit further, like there. So the linear rail nearly drops over. And on the other side, it sits nicely there in the wood. So we'll just glue on a small extension of this part. And in the plans, I already have updated the new shape of that part. So any future builders of LibreFlip would not make this planning mistake. That only happened because I needed to include the counterweight later on. And because the rubber springs down here, the ends you can see here don't work, we need to make the new counterweight. And I explain all the details and show what happened in episode 20, if you'd like to watch why I decided on this counterweight and not use the idea of the rubber springs anymore. 19 in one dimension. And 55 in the other. Let's cut this. Let's mark the holes on this piece of wood. So the rod is here. Yep. That's the rod, and the screws are all put in centered here and there. Let's mark this. Well, center is there, and there. That's where the two screws will go. Let's pre drill them. Nice. Let's mount this. Now the screws poke a wee bit over. And when I now press this in the right position against here, I'll have small divots of the exact position of the holes for pre-drilling for the screws. Let's pre-drill. Now let's apply some glue and put the part on. Okay, here is my plan how to draw this. So I'm referencing everything off of this edge and I'll first draw the 3450, 114.50. And now the other two distances. And here I need to add the 15 millimeters thickness of this sheet to each of the values. The value to put here is 81.5. And the other value is 36.5. My idea is I have this big block of wood and I drilled a hole through here with the drill press and I'll assume that that's reasonably straight because I obviously want to make the, the holes through here as straight as possible. And now let's try to find the hole. Okay, if I look through the side here, Yep, I feel the divot. I'm in the divot of the center punch. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. 
Yay! So, let's see if this fits now. We jammed a small piece of wood there to reduce the tear out because that's a really visible spot. Let's mount them. The hole is a bit tight. Maybe we should ream that open for once really quick. Okay, I think it's time to put on two of these. Great, I think the counterweight is in. Let's take out these rubber springs because now we have a counterweight. Let's turn this back up. Yeah. Very nice. The counterweight is nice and heavy and rides very smooth. I think the solution might actually work. Let's put this back together. Great! Done for today. This is how the counterweight now looks. The next step is to replace this assembly up here with the new one that still is not printed and a small 3D printed part that sits over here, up there and also has a pulley on it. And I will recycle this and that pulley because they have the correct size and the correct size of bearing already inside. So I will just use them. One goes here on the new assembly and the other one goes here. But uh, first I need to print this part and then I will mount it and show you how the whole thing works then. Thanks for watching. In the next episode I will mount the other two parts that I just showed you. Hopefully they are done until then. <laughs> and that means that the counterweight uh, is then finished and should work. And if you just made your way into the series, this is just one part of a longer series where I show all the steps how to make the page turning open source book scanner libre of yourself. I usually release new episodes every Thursday, sometimes I skip one. See you next Thursday!